And good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Randy again. I changed, uh, went with my uh, Heil microphone here, hooked into my uh, mixer. I think this is uh, giving more output than the um, headset. So uh, we got a couple people in the chat room, M7 INT and Daniel. Hello, hello. We got nine people on. So this is Randy K7AGE. And uh, just let me know in the comments if this sounds better than what you were hearing. Better. Okay. K7 Victor Z. Thank you. Um, this is Randy K7AGE with another live um, broadcast or stream of trying, trying to receive ISS images from the ISS. And We'll see how we do this morning. The pass here for me is at 11.22. It'll be an 11 degree pass. So it'll be a little iffy to see what we we get out of that. And let's go to the main screen here. And I have, uh, if you're new to this, I have MMSS TV to take and decode the images. I'm using Orbitron to do the satellite tracking. Hi, Don. You know, build a J pole and put up on the tower. Have one cable free on the tower, and I think I have all the quarter pipe I need. Well, you better hurry. Have between now and Friday, so get cutting. Anyway, here's Orbitron, and this is the footprint. So anything, anybody that's underneath that circle should be able to receive it. I'm going to zoom in here to North America. So we can see what's going on. And I'm using my ICOM IC9700 radio. And this transmits, or the space station transmits on 145.800, 145.800 megahertz. And uh, my antenna is up on top of, uh, up on top of my tower. And it was... Uh, Got a little bit of snow last night. You can see the dusting in the trees there. And uh, the sunlight really made it sparkle. And the antenna is a Comet GP15. So this is a tri-band. It's a 6 meter, 2 meter, seven, 70 centimeters antenna. And uh, it works pretty good. Heavens above doesn't register. This one is a valid pass in Arizona. It's probably because I believe heavens above <clears throat> won't show you any passes under 10 degrees. And you're further east than I am, so although it is coming that direction. So uh, it would just be a skimmer for you across the horizon. We'll see how it is for, for me here. And I'll just play this. A video clipper of a bunch of images that I uh, uh, grabbed off of Facebook and Twitter this morning and got one image or a couple of images that had been emailed to me. So it just shows you, I mean, he's got uh, almost, that's perfect. And this is a couple uh, 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 fast noise hits to the picture. There's some uh, weaker noise hits. And uh, here's Lynn from Brookings. Uh, this is what he received during the night. Uh, Mark emailed me this. He got a little bit of an image, so keep at it, Mark. You'll, you'll get better. Um, Hampsat UK SV2 HWM. Uh, here's here's Smitty Halibut uh, getting some images. Uh, Aaron WXT at WX4 TVS. And uh, so these are some of the images that people are posting that they're receiving out there. Some are pretty noisy. Some are basically perfect. Looks like we have 21 people have come, come back to join me this morning. And uh, we'll see what we can get here. Uh, K7VZ says they're able to get a real clear decode a picture 10 of 12 in the last pass. Yes, there's 12 pictures in the sequence. They're all and they're all numbered. So 
if you're good at this, if you're lucky, you may get all 12. What I seem to see happen is that I get the same pictures repeated over and over. It's just the way the orbits happen to, to work out. Don received a grainy picture with it using his <clears throat> RSP1 SDR Uno and MMS TV using virtual cable. Uh, yeah, if you um, receive it with like an SDR dongle, you um, and try to decode on the same computer, you need a virtual audio cable program to uh, port the audio from one application to the other. So he's figured that out. The phone has stopped ringing. So we're getting close here. And I'll open up the squelch. Let me turn the radio down here a little bit. Maybe we'll slide over here for a second. And I'm back. See if anything comes through. I might get just a little bit of noise. We'll see. Thanks, Rob. So the pictures take about two minutes to transmit, and then they pause for two minutes. So it's a two minute on, two minute off cycle. So if you think you should be hearing it, it could be up to two minutes before they actually go into transmitting. And open your squatch on your radio. I got the receive tab selected on here on MMSS TV. Corey, much better audio. Yeah, I switched microphone through a mixer instead of the headset. They just couldn't get enough audio out of it. Okay. Orbitron says it's at two degrees above the horizon. Tron just beeped. It's overhead. I'm waiting to pick it up here with my uh, vertical at the top of the tower. The main beam there is a JK antennas. It is a Navassa 5, 20 through 6 meters. Wow, there it is at 3.2 degrees. It's about an S7 on the meter. Might get one. Might get one. This is um, the spectrum and the waterfall, and the spike here around 1,200 is the sink. That's what that constant pulsing you're hearing. Then the image frequencies are between 1,500 and 2,300 hertz in your audio passband. Again, 145.800 uh, FM. It's at 5.8 degrees, according according to according to um, according to according to Orbitron here, 6.4. So that that antenna I have is a very narrow to the horizon pattern. So here it's uh, it's an, an advantage. Mostly um, passes you'll probably find are between 15 to 60 degrees. So. We had one earlier, it was 88 degrees here, but it goes over so fast that uh, it goes in and out of the pattern of, of the antenna. Oop, a little bit of noise. I also found that I had my IC9700 set so that the squelch RF knob did both. And I was, I would open the squelch but turn it too far and I'd lower the RF gain and run the signal into the noise, so I've gone into the setup menus and changed that so it's squelch only. I see YouTube complaining about the bandwidth, oh well. Man, wow, that is darn near, that's, that's perfect. Um, let's take a closer look at that. 
Boy, that really came through clear. Boy, that's a 7 of 12. Somebody was asking about what picture 7 was. Well, there it is, 7 of 12. Human tendered lunar rover vehicle. The guy's uh, running around. Apollo 15. So I don't think I'm going to hear anything more. Again, it's two minutes off. I usually try to remember to start my stopwatch on the... Uh, on my phone here so I can tell sort of when the next pass is coming along. So I forgot to do that, but uh, we'll pay attention to the tracking here and see if anything comes along. Yeah, K7V, um, v, VZ, yeah, that was a good image. That was, that makes up for the, for the noisy ones. If I go here, let's go back to the main screen. If I go to history here, I can, uh, you know, here's the history where it, uh, if you have, um, let me go back to receive, if you have the auto history checked, which you want, so it automatically saves them to the history, and then you can step through these and see what you've gotten. Um, so some get noisy, some are better, some maybe just a little noise bar, and you can go in with MMSSD, if you right click on the image, you can um, you can save it to a file, or you can delete it if you have one that's really just a bunch of noise. So, are we going to hear anything else? It's at, um, well, it's at 11 degrees. If it starts transmitting. It's demonstration. Thanks for sh showing. Okay, OH5BMI. 68 spec. As, as an OCO general, it's cool to see there's these kinds of videos of what's possible. Always love the satellite guys at the f at field day. Well, I have a video I posted a few days ago which I go through all the steps of what you need to set up to to be able uh, to do this. And where I go to heavens above, heavens dash above. And you can enter in your location and get past predictions. And uh, I go through what you need to do with your radio and antennas. In the last part of the video, I go through MMS TV, SSTV and an application on your phone. Squelch that. I'm not sure we're going to hear anything. Just let me run this video here again. You'll see several people have just put their phones up by their radios in order to, to get pictures. These look like androids that are running Robot 36. And uh, some of the pictures that uh, I've uh, uh, captured off of Twitter and Facebook this morning. Mm. I thought I would hear a little peep out of them. I guess not. Oh, there it is. Receive. It all started. It's at seven degrees. The M, M squared sat pack one egg beaters are on my wish list. WJ3U. Okay, Don. Oh, yeah. You know, all you need is a Visa card. Yeah. Actually, you can make up a quarter wave ground plane for two meters. I have a video on that. Just search on my YouTube channel. That'll work fine. Get it outside and get it up in the clear. Click on the uh, magnifying glass here. It'll, uh, I gotta click on it over here. It opens up a larger image here. And you can see the picture slanted a little bit there. Watch it, it'll auto, auto slant correct. It'll straighten it up here. There, it just popped over. Now it's straight. So now it's a race between finishing the image and running out of coverage. Three degrees. <laughs> oh, you're decoding in Arizona. Great. Even though it wasn't illicit. Yeah. It defaults to 10 degrees minimum elevation 
So anything under 10 degrees, it won't put it in your prediction. I don't think you can change that. Um, if you go to the AMSAT site, there's a predictor there. You may be able to control that. I show the AMSAT site in my uh, in my video. Well, it uh, disappeared before it finished, but uh, yeah, pretty good otherwise. Let me squelch that. So, already watched the video, Don. Good. A lot of people have. It's uh, become very popular. So that's all the passes for today. My next pass is here in Oregon on the Oregon coast. About 40 miles up from California, Gold Beach here. Is at 2 in the morning. I will not be streaming. 4 in the morning. I will not be streaming. 5.46. No, no streaming. 7.20... Yeah, count on um, the 8.57 pass in the morning. That'll be at 54 degrees, and there's another pass at 10.38 tomorrow. So it looks like I'm probably going to be on uh, for two events tomorrow for streaming. We have 35 people here. And uh, any other questions or comments in the uh, chat box before I... Kill the streaming and go have lunch. Say something. Very interesting. Well, <laughs> have you ever seen this before? Are you a ham? So what it is is that on the International Space Station, in both the Russian and the American side, they have radio equipment. And um, most of the astronauts have their ham license. And the Ares group, the Amateur Radio for the International Space Station, I think it stands for, uh, they coordinate these SSTV transmissions several times during the year. And this is a real good time because they're running for six days, 24 hours a day. So <clears throat> I just leave my radio on and my software and the computer running, and it will capture the pictures automatically while I'm asleep. Um, what's your my ICOM rig setup? Um, I'm using my IC9700 and it's hooked up to, I'll show you a picture of the antenna here again. Um, it's running in FM with the D mode, so that's D is for data, and I'm using a USB cable from the radio into the computer. And in MMSS TV, under the options here, uh, I gotta go to this screen. You won't see it. Oh, I have to close this before we can do anything. Here we go. Uh, under the options um, is where, if you go to miscellaneous, you can select if you're using a radio with a sound card built in, or like a signal length, or some type of audio, you know, um, input device. Maybe your computer itself. You can. I've selected the radio here for both in and out. Uh, 48 kilohertz for the sampling in the receive tab I basically turn on all these over here so it will automatically start it'll automatically restart it'll automatically resync if it loses it'll do the auto slant we saw that where it's where it straightened the picture out and at the beginning of the picture it sends out an ID of the SSTV format and this is PD 120 is what they use and I have the auto start set for VIS or sync. Um, if you have the auto selected up here at the top, it should automatically pick that up from the identifier at the beginning of the picture. I've taken and signed one of these buttons for PD120. And if you right click on the buttons, you see a whole bunch of different standards or modes for SSTV. I have that selected here. So in case it didn't automatically start, I missed a header, I could push the button and it would force it into that mode. And uh, anything else here? Your IC7100 doesn't have hardly enough audio bandwidth. Can you go into the menu and open it up? It seems like it should be able to do that. Okay. I have a 7100, but I haven't it's still in the box. It's going to go in my camp trailer, and uh, hopefully I'll get a chance 
when it warms up before I head off to Quartzfest here to get that installed. And one of the reasons I bought that is because single USB cable for controlling, controlling audio. Uh, VA2HET from Quebec. I've been to Quebec uh, several times. The company I worked for, the parent company. No, uh, yeah, it was in Montreal, so I've been there. Usually this time of year, and that's not a good place to travel. I uh, have to use the data port USB is limited up to top of 2400. Huh, is that baud rate or is that audio? Hmm. Um, it should also work on the IC705, too. Have to use the data port USB. Hmm. Not sure what you mean there, Gary. Um, maybe I'll break out my 7100. It's still in the box. Poke at it a little bit. Uh, from Moscow. Ah, wow, we're getting DX here. Anton, RC3C. Uh, Malkabees, something I've, I'm awful with pronunciations. Thanks for streaming. It was pretty fun to watch. I got a couple images off a of pass earlier this morning, but I still need to see you to see your setup and results. I'm having a lot of fun doing the streaming, and uh, I think we've gotten... Uh, I think I've forgotten a lot of people um, doing this for the first time. So that's that's the main goal. Just found a <laughs> just found a SO239 chassis connector, Don saying. Going to build a quick quarter wave ground plane. This is the simplest antenna to build. Five 19 in 19 inch pieces of wire, like number 14 or 12 gauge, like for your house wiring, solid wire. You solder one to the center pin up. You mount the other four going out at an angle, and that's a quarter wave ground plane for two meters. And that'll receive the satellites perfectly. I mean, it'll do a very good job. It's got a nice wider pattern. Um, the antenna I'm using has a narrow pattern uh, to the horizon. And most of the um, passages, <coughs> my voice is going away, are between 15 and 60 degrees or thereabouts. So, um, you can do it. Another thing that some people do is use a small beam, like a four-element beam, point it up at about 30 degrees, and then all you have to do is use an azimuth rotator to track it. Data, uh, data on the data is limited to the same as AF. I'll have to pull out my 7100, plug it in, and plug in the USB, and see what it looks like. I have... Um, Sample video or sample audio files on my YouTube channel. Um, search for K7AGESSTV, and there's one that's 27 minutes long. It's, it's the one I used in my video that I show how to do this. And um, I ran it from my laptop over here into my IC705, so it actually transmitted. <laughs> I called it my ICOM space station uh, simulator. You think a disco antenna would work very well? Yep, give it a try. Don't overthink it. Try it. You got uh, between now and Friday, and you got the rest of the day to set it up, and um, and give it a go. See what happens. Pass this start again. Like I said, for me here on the West Coast, at uh, about two thirty in the morning. The last one at about eleven forty-two tomorrow. Ah, uh, so. We got 39 people. I think I'm gonna end this and go get my lunch here and uh, find some other projects to do for this afternoon. So, this is Randy K7AGE. I'm gonna say 73 and thanks everybody for stopping by. And if you got any pictures that you received, um, Email them to me, and I'll put them in that video rotation of the stills there. Easy to email me, k7age at k7age.com. So it was fun. Thanks, Don. Gary, thanks, thanks everybody for the comments. We'll see you tomorrow. 
K7AGE.